welcome back to my channel and welcome if it's your first time. My name is Joss and here we like to talk about perfume, fragrance, and everything related. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please keep watching. Today I'm really excited to share with you my current top 10 favorite celebrity fragrances. So I have recently shared my top 10 favorite niche and my top 10 favorite designer fragrances. So I thought it fitting to also share my celebrity fragrances. I haven't shared a favorites list of my celebrity fragrances in quite a while. So I will put cards up so you can check out previous videos that I just mentioned. The first one is from Mariah Carey and this is just called M and this is a beautiful white floral fragrance. I get a lot of tuberose. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It's got decent lasting power. I mean, it's so cheap too. This is like a 3.4 ounce bottle and I can't, I, I want to say it was less than $20. Very inexpensive. Smells more expensive than it is. I just think it's really gorgeous. And I think this one's been out for a while. This is one of Mariah Carey's earlier fragrances. I believe it aligned, but I just love this one. I think it layers nicely with different things too. I've layered it with different vanilla fragrances and it's gorgeous. If you don't like white florals, you probably won't like this one. I have a couple from Ariana Grande. The first one is Thank You Next. I love this. It's so pretty. It's kind of like a tart raspberry. I think it's got pear, coconut. It's so pretty. And this one, again, layers with different things too. And I might as well jump into my other, my other Ariana Grande is of course Cloud. So these two, oh, they're fabulous fragrances. They're decent lasting power. I just think they layer so well with different things. They layer well with each other. That was something I heard about from Mojan from the Nostalgic channel. And these are gorgeous fragrances and they smell more expensive to me than they are. Like I said, they layer with lots of different things. I did a whole video on different ideas for layering with Cloud because Cloud can layer with so many different things. It's incredibly versatile. Thank You Next is fruity and sour and it's beautiful. Cloud has that Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe, but it's not a clone per se. It's sweeter and it's got more of the whipped cream vibe, so it's a little bit creamier. It doesn't have saffron like BR540 has, but it's a gorgeous fragrance and I just love both of these. I think Ariana Grande does really nice fragrances and I'm, these are two of my favorites. One that's fairly new to me but I'm really enjoying is from KKW X Kendall Jenner. This is called Olive. This is very new. It's so pretty. It's just like sweet and fruity, but it's got layers to it. So it's got like a woody base and I feel like I'm getting some resins perhaps, but it's just a really beautiful fragrance. And I think it's gonna be a little better when the weather cools down a bit, but it's really, it seems like a very versatile, like any occasion fragrance, maybe not in the dead of summer, but I really love olives. I've only had this for a fairly short time, but I'm really enjoying it. So this is again from KKW. This is KKW X Kendall Jenner Olive. This is one from Jennifer Lopez that's sadly discontinued. It's called Glowing, and I just think it's really pretty. It's a simple floral. It's nothing too, it's a little bit citrusy. It's just a very beautiful floral. It's not very sweet, just super nice, easy reach kind of fragrance. I got mine on Mercari, pleasant and beautiful. I wish this one was still made because I really think it's pretty. It's just very refreshing, perfect for spring and summer. Again, that's glowing from Jennifer Lopez. And Madonna. So Madonna came out with a fragrance pretty recently, like within the last year, and it's called Madam X, and it's really expensive. I'm not even sure where you can buy it. You can probably buy it on her website, but these two fragrances from Madonna, I love these. These are sadly discontinued. This one is called Truth or Dare. This one is called Truth or Dare Naked. This one is a little bit easier to find. I've seen it pop up on Fragrance Buy and Perfume Online, both Canadian websites. This is the deeper, darker, spicier, beautiful. I really like this one. And then I really like Truth or Dare, the original too. This is a tuberose, white floral. These both smell to me way more expensive than they are. Um, well, unfortunately they are kind of expensive now because they're discontinued, but when they were sold originally, they were really inexpensive. They're just beauties. I really wish they'd come out with them again. Um, so Madonna, Truth or Dare, Truth or Dare Naked. They're just fabulous. If you can find a good deal, I would snatch them up, but they're not necessarily safe blind buys, especially the original. The original is definitely that tuberose white floral that you have to like tuberose to like this one, I think, but it's gorgeous. The two Madonnas are beautiful. I've got another Jennifer Lopez here. This is Deseo, another sadly discontinued fragrance. This is like a really salty, beachy, white floral, 
summer florals fragrance. This just totally reminds me of the beach because it's just kind of salty coconut, very gender neutral, I think. This does come in a for men version, but I think this could easily be worn by anyone. It's just a really fun, pretty, beachy, delicious, and this is one where it seems like it could go day to evening. Like you could wear this on the beach during the day. You could wear this at night. It's just, it's a very versatile summer fragrance in my opinion. And again, I'm very sad this is discontinued because I think it's fabulous. Again, that's Deseo from Jennifer Lopez. So this is a line from Gwen Stefani. This is Harajuku Lovers is the line. And this one is called Pop Electric G. I talked a lot about it on my channel. It to me smells like pina colada. It's got pineapple and coconut. I'm not even sure if Pineapple is an official note. I'll put the notes up on the screen. But to me, I just get a lot of pineapple and coconut. It's just a beautiful, juicy, sweet, fun, not very serious, great fragrance for summer. And this one seems to pop up a lot on Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, I've seen it on FragranceNet. I think I've seen it on all the gray market sites recently. So this one doesn't seem to be very hard to find. Nordstrom Rack, at the present time, it's not very hard to find and it's pretty inexpensive. So again, this is beautiful, especially in summer. Pop Electric G from Harajuku Lovers. I love this one. And last but not least, this is Rebel Floor from Rihanna. This is, I adore this. It's got coconut, it's got white florals. It's great for summer, but I think it works year round actually because it's got a warmth to it that is really beautiful in fall and spring as well. Maybe not the dead of winter, but it's just, it's a unique fragrance. I think it's really classy and beautiful. I don't like the bottle too much. I think it's a little bit funky, but I really love this fragrance. I didn't love it at first, but it definitely grew on me and it's one of my current favorites. And it has been for a long time, actually. I've really, really enjoyed my Rebel Fleur and it's got a Love Always version too. That's just a little bit deeper and, and a little bit more potent, um, but they're not very different at all. I really can hardly tell the difference. I think Love Always is just a little stronger, but I love this one and fabulous. So those are my current top 10 favorite celebrity fragrances. I would love to hear about yours down in the comments. What are your favorite celebrity fragrances? I'm always interested in finding a hidden gem or something that's affordable and beautiful. That is always a winning combination to me. So I would love to hear that and more down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. I will see you again very soon. Thanks.